we're having a family function and I, I said to my sisters um, that I'd love the fact to go to the sales, buy a grey filly to name after in some way or other after mum. So two weeks later this bloke arrives, my father sees him, buys him. Um, so there's enormous significance about the grey factor that just fell into place so perfectly. You might say it was meant to be. We were asked to look after him um, and bring him home and adjust him for a short while for a friend and uh, I brought my father, who was out home having a look at the horses around the property and he obviously took a, a, an interest and an attraction to him immediately and uh, asked what the situation was about the, the possibilities of purchasing him and, um, and did as a gift, gave it to, a, gave it to me and the family to, to um, syndicate and race. So. Um, yes, uh, very fortunate, very fortunate. Uh, he certainly was an athletic looking colt at that stage. Uh, it certainly looked like he needed to mature a bit, um, but everything was in the right spot and uh, yeah, from there on in, it was just going to be time, was going to be the, des the decider as to uh, when and where he'd start. Yeah, well his first up win was very good. It, uh, I mean, you can look at a lot of horses and uh, and see them win a race and then uh, yeah, you walk away and you, you just wonder you know, where they're, they're going to get to in the, in the future. But he was a horse, there was a lot of upside on the win. I mean, he, he won very comfortably that day and certainly liked the way he, he put the race away and a lot of good signs there with him to, uh, then, you know, that was going to assist us to aid him going forward, you know, to winning more races. He's almost foolproof. He's, he's probably, when you look at his um... Uh, his attitude, the easy going nature, especially with the kids, with Abby's kids, absolutely unbelievable how he can interact with them. And then to see him at Sandown two or three weeks ago where he's, he's taking an opening between two horses and actually hip and shoulders the horse out of the way. So um, it's almost like a small dose of white line fever, I suppose. We've been fortunate to have Graham as, uh, as a client and uh, an owner and probably more so as a friend in the stable for over 30 years now and uh, to have this horse doing what he's doing, it, uh, it, it gives us a lot of great pleasure to uh, see them enjoy it so much. You know, have a horse of this quality at the moment, um, it's, it's a great thrill and uh, you know, it means a lot to them, they're, they're very, very good people and it's, uh, it's an easy job for us to train these horses because they don't need to fear and uh, we can just get our job done. And then Rock and Gold Streets of Avalon, Blaze Jowski moves up and takes the lead with 100 metres to go. Federal from the clouds, Blaze Jowski the grey in front, Blaze Jowski beat Federal. Terrific performance there by Blaze Jowski to take out race at number eight here at Flemington and he just continues on his winning way this time round, Clint. It's three from three. Having a horse like this is a big thrill for all of us here. I mean, it's. Uh, it's a tough job. I mean, we're up early hours in the morning in the middle of, of winter in the depths of the cold and, uh, and rain and, uh, and wind. But, uh, you know, for all the staff here, they work hard and, uh, you know, they deserve to see the rewards of what they, they do and the benefits uh, of what happens if you do work hard. And, uh, and thankfully, this horse has given us all a lot of pleasure in that way. And uh, it, uh, it, it's great to have a horse like this in the stable. It, uh, it makes it hard for the other ones, unfortunately. We wish we had a few more.